Okay, I'm back. Let's try this again. I'm gonna use a backdrop to show you what I'm doing. I don't know why every time I move the camera, I seem to lose you. So let's do it this way with the string art. Let's go again. Okay, for string art, you need a tray. Oh, we could do it this way, a tray. Hey, this works. I put three dots, th some reinker in there, okay? And I apologize that we're gonna have to do it this way because I don't know why I can't do it uh, facing down. And then I have some linen thread. Now I have red and blue in, in my tray here, and here's my linen thread. Okay, so those are the first pieces I need. Now to get started, we use white cardstock. I'm using white cardstock and it's the four by five and a quarter. This is gonna be tricky trying to do it this way, but somehow this is <laughs> this is going to be interesting all right so the first thing you're going to do is i'm going to take this book let me just see if i can do this back here can everybody see no that's not going to work okay i just don't want to move my camera again i'm going to get an old catalog like this and i'm going to put my i'm just using anything that you can uh squish this with. Okay, this will make sense. I, I apologize that it's going to have to I'm gonna have to show you this this way, but let me show you how I'm doing this. So I'm putting these white pieces of paper with temporary uh, glue in the catalog here. Okay, so now each piece I'm going to have to bring up. So those are the pieces that I'm actually going to do the string art on. So I'm just using this catalog as a backdrop. I don't know how I'm gonna do this without moving the camera. <sighs> I wish I could. You wanna try it one more time with me? Let's try it one more time. Who's on that can tell me if this goes blurry again? All right, let's try it. You ready? Anybody with me? Can anybody see me? I'm just waiting to see if somebody can tell me if they can see it now. What a crazy day, huh? was so looking forward to doing this. I wish I could tell, uh, well, let's just see. Having a little technical difficulties. Looks good here. Great. Thank you, Gloria. Okay. So, again, now we can do this. I know it's okay now. This is going to be a lot easier. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do... I put my reinkers, the colors in here that I'm gonna be using. I'm gonna put that aside for one minute. I have two pieces of cardstock, one on each side, okay? Because this is what I'm using. This is how I'm gonna make the, the flowers, okay? I don't wanna move this camera out of range because I'm afraid that we're gonna, I'm gonna lose you guys. Let's just, so bear with me. I know it's crooked, but we're gonna have to make do with that. So what I did was I put some some adhesive on the back side of this white piece of cardstock. And then I did the same thing on this one. I, I uh, just butted them up together because I need to be able to pull the string between the two pieces. Okay, that makes sense. And hopefully you guys can see this. It looks like you can. Might move it down a little bit maybe. Okay. So, with the re-inkers, the first one I'm going to do is red. So, I've got my linen thread, and I'm just and you're going to get your hands all dirty by the way with this. Okay? So, just so you know, I'm going to stick this in my re-inkers, mush it down a little bit. You just want to get some ink on this. I will tell you that th when once you ink this up and and run it through the cardstock, you can make like six cards um, calla lily cards with this. Okay, so I'm just putting it in here. 
mushing it around a little bit. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. Getting some re-inker on some ink on this thread. All right, just mush it around there as much as you can. You wanna also leave, I, I do about uh, 15 inches of um, linen thread because you wanna have a good lead piece. All right, you definitely wanna have a good lead piece because that's what you're gonna be pulling out. So I got some re-inker in here and that soaked it all up. So now I'm ready for the red. I'm just gonna pull it out. I know you might not be able to see that part of it, but I'm gonna bring this back in. This is the tricky part, because when you lay this down, you, you gotta be careful, but you might get a spot here. Like I said, this is a tricky thing to do, especially on camera. And I'm just gonna roll it. It doesn't matter whether it's S's. Some people do S's. I'm just happy if I get this thing down on the paper. And I'm just laying it like that. Hopefully you can see that in the camera. All right. And then I'm gonna close this book. This is why I'm using this book. It's just, it's a outdated catalog and I don't really need it for anything. I put this other piece of white cardstock over here cause I'm going to pull that, I'm gonna fold it together. I don't need the cover. And remember that little lead piece I had? Well, that's right here. I'm gonna turn this so you can see. This is the trick right here. You have to pull that little lead piece out very quickly, okay? Don't, don't hesitate, just pull it, just like that, okay? Now I'm gonna stick this over here because it makes a mess. And then I'm gonna lift this up. There's the first calla lily. There, but I have two cards, you see what I mean? By meaning that you're getting two cards by doing this. And I inked that up, that red one, the string that I just took off there, that'll do two more of sets. So I'll end up with six of them. They just get a little bit lighter each time. So that's the red one, now watch. Now I'm gonna take the, the blue one, move this out of the way. And ink that up. And again, I use something, um, my stylus tool or my paper piercing tool, just to um, get the ink on there. Just slide it around, get some ink. Make sure you leave yourself a lead. I'm so glad the camera's working now. Okay, so we're just gonna mush this in here. I actually think I'm gonna buy some like disposable gloves or something when I play with this. It's a lot of fun. And I'll show you the samples again. And don't forget, I'm going to do the free giveaway at the end of this from anybody that had placed an order over the weekend. You had till 8 o'clock. I do have some orders, so somebody's going to win that free stamp set. So again, I'm just inking that up. Okay. And I'm going to pull it out. Move this over here. Now I got the blue one. So I'm bringing back my book back in with my red calla lilies. And I'm going to lay the blue one down. Again, I'm just just making circles, not worrying about it. And then I got my lead piece. Okay. I'm going to close this up because we want it to make sure it meets. That's why I glued it down temporarily. I'm going to slide this around so you can see it. There's the lead piece. Okay. And I'm just going to pull it out. No two cards ever come out alike, by the way. Rip it right out. Now I'm just gonna put that one right here. Now when I lift this up, now I have red and blue. And they look like, it's string art. They do look like calla lilies. I love this. I fell in love with this. I can't, oh, I just love it. So back to the red and blue. I just had this thing about red, white, and blue with 4th of July coming up, I guess. What I was talking about before, this is done with the, our linen thread. You see that it's more, it's not as uh, thick, okay? This is done with baker's twine, which is still nice, okay? But it's a little thicker. So, and this one was also done with baker's twine. And you can see it didn't leave much in here. That's why I like the linen thread. 
if you can see that because it's got a little bit more um, I don't know it's not as thick is the only word I could use for it okay so this would look great let me show you a couple of cards that I did this way already okay so let's see if I can show you that over here so this is a birthday card same technique the red, white, and blue this is a tent card. So then it says, enjoy your special day. And I'm showing you these for a reason because I'm want to. i doing something different to this card. And then a, this one is a sympathy card. Okay. And I didn't put a sympathy saying in there yet. And I'm just going to tilt the camera a little bit. Hopefully it doesn't mess anything up. Okay. So you see the red and the blue. And again, let me show you the other ones that I had done. We're doing something different to this one. This was with um, Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana. Bermuda Bay and Coastal Cabana. Pretty cool, huh? I mean, you could do any colors. I just love this. Okay, so that looks good. If I was going to just finish them off, I would finish them off with like something like this. Okay. And I think I got those backwards. Oh, that one's upside down. Sorry about that. That's what happens when you can't see what you're doing. But I wanted to put white in there somehow. Wasn't sure how I could put white in there. So I played around with it. And here's what I came up with. I haven't seen it done yet. So I decided, bring my tray back in here. I took Versamark. And yeah, I guess you can see that. And I put a couple of drops of Versamark. Versamark is very thick, so you, you need to make sure you have enough of it in there. I took a third piece of string. And, uh, and yeah, when I had a problem, I had to get off the computer. I had to re-sign on Facebook Live a couple times, but I'm back on so you can see what you missed. Anyway. Uh, so I'm poking this down into the Versamark. Now Versamark's really thick, and I don't want this really thick, so I'm going to show you a little trick I found. I'm just sliding this through to get the Versamark on there, and then I'm going to emboss the white over the colors. I thought it came out kind of neat, and I haven't seen it done yet, so yay, I might be a first at something. Okay, so there we go. But again, remember, I don't want a real thick flower because, or string because it's gonna make a real thick flower. So what I did was I took my stylus and before I pulled it out, I just held it up here. Hopefully you can see that and I move it back. I just put my stylus right here and I kind of dragged some of the Versamark off of this. Make sense? There we go because I don't want a lot of Versamark on there when I do my next part. Bring it back in, and right on top of those colored calla lilies, I'm doing the Versamark. And this one will just go this way. Okay. And again, I'm going to close it up, turn it this way, and with that lead, pull it out real quick. These strings you can just keep on using. That's what, you know, you don't have to throw them out. The book, I'm just going to keep ripping the pages as I use them because you get ink all over. When I do that, you can't really see it because Versamark is clear. I'm going to bring in my white. I can, get, I can pull these off now. I don't need those on there anymore. Take that book out of the way. You'll hear, it throw, th hear me throw it on the floor. I'm gonna bring my um, white embossing powder in. And I keep them in these nice, cute little trays. I got these on Amazon a while ago, but actually you can buy these in the dollar store now. Of course, right? And just throw some em white embossing powder Hopefully everybody can see. Yeah, it looks like you can see what I'm doing. And tap that off. Now you can see faintly the calla, the white calla lily there. These would make great uh, 
Fourth of July invitations, I think. And again, without heating it, which I'm not gonna do, I did one already because of timing, okay? But I'm gonna show you what it looks like. So you would heat emboss those with the heat gun, the heat tool. Put this back here so I don't get it all over. And I'll bring in the one that's already done. Magica TV. So it's very faint, very light. You can barely see the, the white one, but it's pretty cool. Okay. Now, the next part of it that I did, so we'll put that aside. The next part of what I did was, I love this ribbon. And it's white. But white on top of that, I didn't want to do. So what I did was, I colored it. I colored it red. You can color it any color you want. I just happen to do red. And there's little um, fuzzy dots on here. So you can actually color that side of it and those fuzzy, the fuzzy Swiss dots will cover, will get a lot more color on them. But I didn't want them to be colored. I wanted them to stay white. So I colored the back side of it. Can you see that? And I'll show you how I did that. So I took our sponge roller I'm just going to take a small piece here of the ribbon. And we'll take the red. And I just put a little ink on the roller. Now, I again, I did the back side, so I'm going to show you both. Okay, so this is the back side, and I just rolled it a couple of times. so that I had some color. And let's see, I'll just use something that's white so you can see it. Now you can see it's got color on it. Now if you wanted a lot more color, and if you see the dots are still white on that side, let's say I wanted the dots red, let's just go back over on that side. And this is just to show you now, got a little bit more red, because the dots are red now. Okay, so I don't need that piece because I don't want that. That's just, that was just to show you. Yeah, I told you I had a lot to show you tonight. And because this is such a messy project and I got ink right there, I'm just going to fold this over so we don't, I mean, my hands are already inked up. That's another thing, great thing about the string art. If, even if you get messy, it still comes out pretty good. Um... So let's do this. So now I got my white calla lily, my red and my blue. I'm gonna just fold this red cardstock. I think I'm gonna do it in red, yeah. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that piece that I had already colored. I'm gonna tie it around. This is another thing that's hard to do on live TV. Where I had some red marks for my fingers, I don't know if you noticed those on the camera, but you could see some red, I got a little from the ink. It's not gonna, it's not gonna matter because I'm putting the ribbon right there. Thank goodness for ribbon, right? And sequins and embellishments of any kind that hide our, our mistakes. And I'm just going to tie a bow, or try to while I'm on live TV. Let's see how I do. Actually, I won't do too bad, I'll tell you why, because this ribbon is so easy to tie. As I said that and just messed it up, right? Okay, I'm really strange. I have to tie my bows upside down. <laughs> hey, whatever works, right? Okay, so let's just tie this, turn it around, and then I'll fix the bow when I'm done. Not, not too shabby. Okay. So I got the bow on there. And I am gonna fix that, but eh, let's try it right now. I just need it a little bit tighter, and I don't want it quite that big. So we're just fixing the bow a little bit. Okay, then I'm gonna trim off some of this. I might even play with the bow a little bit after I get it done. Okay. And then I'm gonna go ahead, 
flip it over. See, it's still got some of the temporary glue there. And I am going to try to find my snail now in this mess. <laughs> Where did I put that? Okay, well, let's see. Oops. Oh, right in front of me. Oh my God, it was a bug it would have bit me. Okay, so I'm just snailing that up. Like I said, it's a messy project, but it's so cool. And I'm just gonna adhere that right to the front. Now this is what I was talking about. Okay, so now I've got it. I really don't wanna, I'm gonna use my wrists here to put that down. The bow is too flat, too, too flimsy for me. So this is where, when I start playing around with the bow a little bit more. Sometimes I even take it all the way apart because it's not tied tight enough for me. This is the hard part of doing a bow on TV. Okay, I'll fix that, there we go. All right, well again, I want him a little bit smaller. That's good, okay. So let's trim that a little bit more. I don't want it hanging off. And I have a calla lily with a bow. Now I need the sentiment. So I've got my real red. Now this is the old kind of case. because you know, the new cases have changed to the thinner ones. But I don't have the new red one yet. And I already have this cut. This is actually, I keep these pieces. These are when I trim cardstock. Um, these little pieces we always have left over and they make great, um, they're perfect for the sentiments. So I'm just gonna put, and I'm doing this, oh, that didn't come out too bad. I was doing it upside down. I'm gonna bring in my tailored punch because I wanna make it a banner type. So I'm bringing that in and just making See how I'm using the, the punch to make a banner? I'm, I'm not real careful on if it's perfect. I just wanna see. Okay, I just got ink on that. Oops. Let me do another one. Let me do another one, because I got so much ink. You know what, let me just wash my hands first. How about that? Keep baby wipes or your, uh, your stamp and scrub near you. I know we're probably not supposed to use stamp and scrub on our hands, but it works great for me. I'm sure my manicurist doesn't like it, but okay, that's better. I just don't like having all that ink on my hands. So let me bring another piece in. That's why I love these strips because I have tons of them laying around. Okay, that's better. I'll cut this, I'll cut a little bit off. And now I'm gonna go in here and trim this. And again, I hope everybody can see because I can't really see what you're looking at. I don't have my system set up that way yet where I can watch it too. Perfect. Move that aside. Now, I could put this on the card, but it's white on white. I could sponge it, but I wanted it to pop out a little bit more. So that's why I keep all my scraps in a plastic bin, I'll show you. It's a mess. It's a plastic case and it's got all kinds of, I don't know if you can see that, all kinds of different colors of scrap um, colored cardstock, even ones that are retired. Because when you wanna pull out a piece, a small piece, you don't wanna cut a big piece. So I keep all the little pieces there. Now this little guy is gonna go right on here. I'm gonna bring in my paper trimmer. I call it a paper trimmer because it's not really a paper cutter. It can only cut maybe two pieces of cardstock. Then it gets a little messy. It gets a little hard to cut. So I need to make a little, make sure this is right. I wanna make sure that piece, cause that piece was a little messed up. Let's see, this should work. Just cut a little piece off like that. Hopefully you can see what I was doing. I'm just cutting a little strip there. And my happy birthday fits right on there. And I'm just gonna snail that down. I'm gonna put that right about here. And then I'm gonna grab my 
dimensionals. Two dimensionals will make that work fine. One on each end. Yeah, it's working so well, it's sticking to my finger. Man, this is really sticky. Okay. And I'm going to put that right at the bottom here. Just for something a little bit different. Now, the inside... Uh, let's see. I have another piece cut here so that it can stamp the inside saying. Let me just grab that. So... Um, the inside, the, the happy birthday, just so you know, is from the, t uh, and I have to get the new names right, so I have all the stamp sets here so I could tell you. It was from, I lied, I can't find it, <laughs> Itty Bitty Sentiments, I think that was what it was called, the new one. Yeah, I'm not real familiar with all the names yet. And then... The inside saying is from another stamp set that I will tell you in one second. I think I covered it up with something else. All right, so let's just stamp that. It says, enjoy your special day, because it's birthday. Now, this might be a little wet yet, because it's pretty juicy, the new uh, stamp pad. I'm just going to glue that down. Put that right inside. Hopefully you can see that. And there's the finished card. Now I'm going to attempt to bring my camera up. Hopefully I don't mess anything up so you'll be able to see me. Hopefully that didn't mess anything up. Uh, give me one second here. I think I tightened it too hard before. There we go. Okay. So that is string art. Now I'm going to go back again and show you the difference. Remember I showed you in the beginning, but now I want to show you again what I was talking about. Okay, so this is the one we did, or I just did, with the linen thread. And you can see a little bit more detailed. Again, this is uh, a, the same, same kind of thing. Um, the sentiment is from the new painted glass. So this was a um, sympathy card I had made earlier. Again, this was done with the um, linen thread. Sorry. Okay, so you can see these. The difference, another one with the linen thread. I was playing all day, well, not all day with these because I was getting ready for my open house. Um, this one was a l the linen thread. And the baker's twine looks like this. This is the way mine came out. Everybody's comes out different, okay? This was baker's twine, which isn't, again, it's not bad. It's just not, to me, it's not as clear as that one. So this was baker's twine. This was linen thread. And then, again, to show you um, the thick baker's twine. I That's just a little too thick for me. But I could do something with it. So, again, with the, with the, um, the doing the art, the string art, I used re-inkers, and I'm not going to put the camera back down, so I'm showing you I used the re-inkers. But I want to also show you real quick, and I'll just tap one in here, maybe the blue, because you'll be able to see it. Our brush-o works the same way. I'm going to just tap some brush-o in one of those little things I have here. And this is just to explain. It's done the same way, but I put brush-o. Uh, let's see, right here, you can see a little bit of the brush out. And then what I did was I squirted a little water in there. And I'm just going to show you the mixture. And you do the same thing. You would just 
run your linen thread through that, through the brush o with the water, and do it the same way. You can do S's, you can do circles. When you pull that out, the, the key is leaving yourself a long enough tail and pulling it out really fast. Okay, that's, I mean, I played with it for quite a while today. You could see, um, you didn't see all the messes that I did. Uh, but those are the ones that I did come out with. Um, and I found that by hesitating, you got more of a thicker, blobbier look. <laughs> Technical term, blobbier. But I love it. I could not wait to come home and try it. And I'm so glad I did. So um, hopefully you enjoyed it. And I really encourage you and hi Pauline and I really encourage you to play with it and try it out if you have any questions just give me a shout I can help you stampersdelight.com um, tomorrow night's my open house if you have an RSVP for my open house you can still come it's you know you don't have to RSVP you just will not be able to make do a make and take uh, so if you have an RSVP and you want to come to the open house Tomorrow night at my house, it's at 6.30, 6.30 to 9. It's an open house for the new catalog and a retirement sale going on for all the retired products. Okay? Hey, Pauline. Um, so, you know, just, again, contact me, stampersdelight.com. Let me know you're coming or just do a walk-in. You just come to my house and come on down to my stamping room. The other thing is um, I would just wanted to touch base with is that uh, my next my next monthly class is on a Tuesday night this month. It's June 12th. We're going to be doing, and I'll just grab this back here. We're going to be doing the impossible card, not this one, but um, this, my last video was on how to do the impossible card. So this is one of the cards that we'll be doing on June 12th. If you would like to sign up for that class. Oh, here's my other card. Uh, if you'd like to sign up for that class, just let me know. RSVPs have to be in by uh, June 9th for that class, okay? And what else? If you need a catalog, you want to sign up for a class, you want to join my team, just contact me. Or you can call me. Um, you can order online on my um, online uh, uh, website, which is stampersdelight.stampinup.net. But if you just remember stampersdelight.com, it will give you everything you need. Also, to remind you, this video and other videos are on my YouTube channel. Again, just go to YouTube and type in Stampers Delight one word, and you'll see all the videos that I've been doing. Hopefully, I'm getting a little better. I know I'm having a lot of fun. Here's another one of the cards I had done earlier, okay, just to show you. And not to skip around here, but these cards never, like I said, no two cards ever come out alike. So they're always different. Okay. Uh, so that's about it for tonight. Um, I will be back on my normal Facebook Friday mornings at 7 o'clock. So I will see you Friday morning. I'm working on a few things for that. So uh, it'll be fun to see everybody Friday morning. And if you can't watch me at 7 a.m. on Friday morning, you can always go back to Facebook later on in the day and watch the video and what I've you know come up with. Um, a, or I always transfer it over to YouTube. So either way, you can watch these videos anytime, day and night. I thank you for watching. And now before I let everybody go, I have to, drum roll please, pull the winner for the online order. I do want to just check, make sure nobody else ordered anything before I do this. Okay. No, they didn't. Okay. So here we go. I have a uh, computerized program. I put everybody's name in it, and the winner is Karen. Karen Vance, like you won the new um, pressed flowers hostess set. Yay! So thank you so much for watching. Please leave your comments, share my videos. I'm trying to get my name out there, you know, so people know who I am. Uh, join my YouTube channel also, and. See you Friday morning. Grab your coffee and come back and see me, okay? Bye.